This book by Miranda Esmond White called Aging Backwards, Fast Track, 30 Days and Six Ways to Look Good and Feel Younger didn't land well with me at first because of the idea that we're supposed to look nice and young as we age. Well, as a movement educator, I'm really encouraging people to go within, to notice how they feel, and to tap into their innate ability to heal the body. So what are the common signs of aging? Poor posture, poor balance, general stiffness, chronic pain, finger and hand stiffness, feet and ankle issues, unexplained weight gain, diminished energy, hip and knee pain, back pain, and shoulder pain. So once you reach a certain age, probably after you're you reach about 40 years old, you start to notice some of these things. You can tell yourself, oh, I'm getting old, I can't do anything about it. Or you can say, oh, this is a sign that maybe I need to look and see how I feel within my body and how I move. And there's a lot of research related to fascia that's presented in this book. What is fascia? Fascia is a stretchy tissue that forms an uninterrupted three-dimensional web within our body. Our body has sheets, bags, and strings of fascia of varying thickness and size, some superficial and some deep. Fascia envelops both individual, microscopic, and muscle filaments as well as whole muscle groups. So at Harvard, at the Osher Center for Integrative Medicine, they've done a lot of research on the importance of connective tissue and its impact on pain. One of the leading researchers in the field today is Helene Langevin, and she describes fascia as a living matrix whose health is essential to our well-being. The first part of the book explains the six ways. Those six ways are reboot your muscles, bones, and connective tissue, recharge your brain, rebalance your body, use relaxation to strengthen, and create a daily habit of exercise. The second part of the book is a is actually giving you a whole bunch of different types of exercises. A great way to explain this is just to do one of the exercises. So this exercise is called washing windows and it comes from page 130. Imagine you are washing a large circular window that goes right up to the ceiling and down to the floor. Picture yourself holding the washcloth in your hands and pressing it against the window as you wash. Stand with your feet comfortably wider than hip width distance apart. Relax your knees and bend your arms above your head with your elbows relaxed. Visualize the cloth in your hands pressing against the window. Move the cloth in a circular motion around the full window from ceiling to floor and back up again on the other side, keeping your elbows bent the entire time. The imaginary cleaning cloth should never leave the window. One rotation should take about 30 seconds from start to finish. Repeat the rotations in one direction before shifting and then moving on to two rotations in the other direction. This sequence will increase flexibility and health of the muscles and the connective tissue of your spine, arms, and fingers. It will also stretch and strengthen the collagenous protein fibers of the tendons and ligaments in your fingers and wrists. This is important for neck pain, arthritis of the hands, and headaches. You should feel the work in your shoulders and spine. Because everybody, yep, we hear it all the time, we wanna look better. Let's feel better. And you can do that with this book. So I do recommend that you read it or at least check out Miranda Esmond White's YouTubes and her work on PBS. And you will feel better.